Hello, welcome to Lincoln College of Technology. I'm Mr. Young, one of the Master Tech Automotive instructors here, and I've been teaching here for about 25 years. This is one of the classes you would actually start in at our school. It's an introductory class, and we call it Driving Your Performance. In this class, we're gonna teach you the very basics of automotive technology, from how an engine works to the very tools that you'll be working with. So you don't have to know a lot about cars in order to start here. All you really need is a passion for cars. And if you have a passion for cars, we can work on all of the rest. And you're gonna learn quite a bit. Hi, my name is Scott Kernegy. I'm an instructor here at uh, Lincoln Tech. Um, personally, I've had a lot of experience. I was an engineer at Ford for many years, and now I'm here teaching, trying to give students the best information you can. Um, I do the AC class today. I do other classes also. Um, and here we go over all the various components of the uh, air conditioning system. For example, like an accumulator. And you will know what each part is, how it functions, how to repair it. Uh, we get into a bit more detail on the AC system. We're going to use gauges, which will allow you to determine what's going on with the AC system. Is it working properly or not? Does it have the right amount of refrigerant? So people kind of get a little uh, anxious when it comes to that. It's really very simple. And all AC systems work the same, whether it's your refrigerator at home or your car. So um, we spend a lot of time on that. Here are some of the various components of the AC system. We're gonna go over them in detail, condensers, evaporators, the real expensive part, the compressor, how all these interact with each other, how they work. We'll get into the refrigerant, the charging of the systems. That'll employ gauges, cans of refrigerant. Actually, we use very large cans of refrigerant, but regardless, you can use the small ones. We talk about the heating and cooling system, how important that is on the vehicle, uh, as far as cooling the vehicle, and how it interact, interacts with the AC system. We also cover some accessories and electrical components in the vehicle. For example, SRS, Supplemental Restraint System, airbags. So we're gonna talk about airbags, how important they are, how important it is to know how to service it. You can get injured, so we go through the details on this, on the airbag system. And each car company does something a little different. So we go through as much as we can, make you aware of all the information and where you can get it. Let's see, over here we've got these charging stations. With the air conditioning systems now in vehicles, if you have refrigerant in the system, you can't just let it into the atmosphere. So we have to collect it, we recover it in this machine. And we'll reuse it, assuming it's good still. And then we use this machine to put refrigerant back into the system very accurately. Uh, exactly what the manufacturer wants in the car without losing much refrigerant or letting it loose in the atmosphere. It's not good for the atmosphere. It's not good for anything. So we do our best there. So we've got uh, these machines. We've got, just got the latest machines. In fact, a couple days ago. These are for any cars and they work on the hybrid cars. There's a lot of those out now. So we use these. Uh, it's actually a little simpler than the other system, but regardless, good stuff. It works really, really well. These are some of our training units. This is a complete air conditioning system. Got all the various components. We plug it in the wall. We can put faults in the system, and the students can figure out what the heck's wrong with it. In fact, we're doing that today in my class. Then we also have some of these other units to test various accessory systems in the class. After we've completed the heating and cooling part, then we go into various components: the blower motor, the fan motor in the car, wiper systems. We go into alarm systems in cars, uh, lighting. So some of the um, accessory groups that are available on the vehicle, we go into that. And that is an overview of our AC class. Hello, my name is Mr. Zaleski. I'm one of the instructors for Audi. Um, this is our Audi classroom. Audi is something that is a program offered to um, students that are taking the degree program and we also uh, look for students that have good attendance and good grades. Audi is a two-part class. The first month 
is learning the basics. We teach you wiring schematics. We teach you about the Audi systems. We teach you about Audi diagnostics. And then the second month is kind of a service shop where you learn how to work on Audi systems. In our classroom here, the Audi classroom is actually a double classroom. We have an A3, we have an A4, we have our A6, we have an Audi TT, and you can see around the classroom we have various motors we can take apart, we have training equipment in here. Uh, we're really self-sufficient and the only people that work in this classroom and on these cars are the students that are taking the Audi program. When you graduate this program, and again it is a two-month program, we have manufacturers from all over the city and suburbs looking for Audi graduates. Some of our students go to the Audi dealerships in the area, but we have other students that go to work for Mercedes, BMW, Volkswagen, and various other manufacturers. Most German car manufacturers do things the same, so once you graduate these two classes, you can basically work at any German car manufacturer. I hope to see you soon.